Darling is famous for a whole bunch of things, flowers being one of the main ones. But there's also a few families that you see it, you have hundreds and thousands of representatives of those families in, in, in various regions. But Darling has Fersfelds, Bassons, and Duckets. And I think that Duckets maybe have a genetic predisposition to producing boys, because there's so many Duckets. There couldn't have been that many Duckett girls. So, the guy that runs our vineyards is a huge guy, Peter Duckett, was a provincial rugby uh, prop forward. Um, he's larger than life in every respect. And he is obviously from the clan of the Ducketts. The first Duckett to come to Darling was a guy by the name of William Duckett. And uh, I was kind of toying with the idea when we did the label of uh, saying that he never played cricket because somebody would say, Willie Duckett. Um, which is really bad. But uh, so William Duckett was a, a trained agriculturalist. So, as much as he could be trained in the skills of farming in the early 1800s, he was a man. So he came to the Western Cape to teach people how to farm. And he had farming operations right across the Western Cape. Where he eventually settled was in Darling. Now, I have to ask myself, if you've got a guy who's skilled and knowledgeable, and he has first pick of where to put his farms, and he decides to come to Darling, that must tell you something about the quality of the soils and the potential that you have here. So, we have this wine, Duckett. It's a blend of Merlot and Cabernet Sauvignon, which, um, again, continuing our theme of each wine having its unique personality reflected on the label. The reason why we call this wine Duckett is, for me, Duckett equals Darling, and the particular style of Merlot that you get in Darling is equal to Darling. So, therefore, Duckett equals Darling equals Merlot, and that's why we have this wine, Duckett Merlot Cabernet. It's 100% almost aged in French oak, and um, so it gives you all of that, that spiciness, the, the sophistication of the French oak, but with a really classical background. And, um, you know, you were to go to Bordeaux and try and buy a wine of the same quality, uh, because this is the Bordeaux style blend, uh, most notably from saint Emilion, you would pay two or three times the price. And I think that is the real gem that we have here at Clove, and for Darling Clove in particular, is that you can produce these wines with piles and piles of flavor for a lot less than you can get the same wine for in the world's prestigious wine regions like Bordeaux.